Hi, first grade friends. How are you today? I hope you're ready to do some math together. I have two uh, math equations on the screen for you. And what I'm asking is, what do we know? What do we know about both of these equations? Well, maybe by now you're reading them to yourself and you're saying two and two equals, maybe you're even saying the answer, two and two equals four. If you did, congratulations. And maybe you're starting here and you're saying three and four equals, or three plus four is the same as, and you're thinking about what that answer might be. Maybe you're thinking back to the, our conversations um, on the last few days and you're saying, oh, I see a double. One thing I know is that this is a double. If you notice that, great job. I'm wondering if I look here, what could I do to make it a double? That's tricky, isn't it? Because these are not the same. What number, what would I have to do to this number to make it a double? Hmm, what do I know is inside of four? What do I know is inside of four? Well, what if I take three out? I know that three is inside of four. How many more are left? Well, I know three and one are four. Oh, look what I have all of a sudden. I have another double. Wow, good. What is three and three? What's that double? You probably remember and you're working up at three, four, five, six. Three and three more is six. If you notice that, great job. So what's six and one more? What's a double plus one? You're right, it's seven. Great thinking, friends. One reason we wanna really work on our doubles is so that when we then have our next set of math equations that are our doubles plus one, we'll be able to find them just like that. So today, when you're working on your doubles, I want you to be thinking, what would it be if it was three plus one more? Three and three and one. Okay, what would that be? So here's your work today. Um, so the first one, one plus one is the same as, well, you guys know that, you're excellent at that now, you've got two. But what would one plus two be? Because that would be a double plus one. So solve for one plus one. And then down here underneath, write your next equation, one plus two, solve. On the next one, we've got two and two is Four. Good. Underneath of it, write your doubles plus one. Two plus three equals and solve for that. Okay, that's an extra challenge today and I know you can do it. All right, off you go.